M100 with Tony and the Disco is brought to you by Bet Online. Bet Online is your number one source for the NBA and the NHL playoffs this season. Every stat, every matchup, and even live odds while the games are being played. When the game's over, head on over to our online casino and get in on a game of blackjack or poker. The run line was one of our over 150 slots games. Head to the website today to get in on the action. Don't forget to use the promo code BELIEVE, that's B L E A D, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online. The game starts here. Um, the last letter is from um, this kind of a master of the obvious, Joseph Rodriguez from Plainview, Texas. My question is, with AEW's re- recent attendance being so bad, would it be smarter to try and take shows of the places WWE is no longer going? I live in between Lubbock and Amarillo, Texas, and WWE no longer even has house shows in those markets. The closest show they've had is four hours away in Dallas, and I know tons of people that would love to go see a live show without having to drive so far away. Thank you. But that's where they go now, though, don't they? They're going in these small markets. Like in Toronto, they went to small markets. And so they, in Colorado, they went to that live market. Yeah. That's that what is. they have to do. I mean, they go into these big arenas. It's just for a quarter full is, is, is idiotic. Right. You know? I, I, you know, and I wouldn't be against, I would not be against the policy of going to the same city that WWE is hot in, but in a smaller venue because they've heated up the city. Right. They're in Arlington, Texas for like a week. So they're they're going to, you know, lesser known or smaller cities. Winston Salem. We didn't uh, get the rating in before we stopped recording last week. Do you guys want to talk about that five what was it, five oh five or what the yeah, five was in two thousand? I yeah. said I five said before two. the ratings came out, you got lice again. My thing was five, I said, if you remember, I would be very interested to see what the main event did because that's not a main event, and I would I wouldn't be surprised if it was a lot lowest rated segment. Yeah, and it was. It was also. Uh, and bro, I was wrong. Saying it. Here's the funny thing, dude. Everything we've been saying for five years that we were haters or we were trying to be relevant, that we're trying to get legends contract, that we're old heads, that we're bitter, all that. Now a lot of people are saying the same. I want to make a point. There's, there's something, an adverse event. Now, the funny thing about the show is it stayed steady throughout, but the, but but it's bottomed out. I mean, it's like you know you're staying steady, but it's like look at these numbers four hundred nine. Event got... match. They're okay, not so main event at... names. You have to bookend both shows. They started it good with Rush and MJF. MJF's the main event name. Rush. Everybody, nobody really knows him, but the fans, the hardcore fans, know he brings it. Right, but the thing, the, the bizarre thing about this, and like it's just inexplicable still. That they dropped off like two hundred thousand from from the regular viewing. Now there was two two things that happened on this day. One of them was it was Juneteenth. I didn't even know anybody that was celebrating that because other shows did fine on TV anyway. And the lead in was the Black Panther movie, so they had like four hundred thousand less in the lead in that they usually do, mm. right? And I'm right, wondering they've if they've only that... shown Black Panther fifty times, right, you right. Know, in the last three months. So the so the, I'm interested. In how much of an inflated, how much does the uh, the lead into the Big Bang Theory inflate their number beyond what it usually does? However, it's like, but the quarter hour numbers are still like four ninety nine five. It's like, where did all the people go? And so that's a very a weird. No, I can't. I can't make it make. I, I can't figure that out. What do you mean where they go? They saw it was a main event match that isn't a main event, and they didn't watch it. Two hundred thousand people. Very- yeah, that's a considerable amount of people. Well, like they, that's, yeah. that's well, are the numbers lying here? I haven't seen AEW come out and say that's the not, first which thing is, they would have said. Would, okay. I would just love to figure this out. I can't well, figure it. out. I think I just told you, dude. Right. If you see something you don't want to watch, are you going to watch it? No. no. He, he, who do you get this from? Thurston Howell or whatever the guy's name is. What's his name? Uh, yeah, WrestleNomics. Brandon Thurston. I love this little thing up here. Oh, don't, don't, this don't chart is created for our subscribers' own. For the subscribers, only a loser would go and post this on social media. That's tremendous. No, no, you know what the guy does? He complains because people just post this. They don't give credit. Oh, okay. But we always credit. We say, hey, this is Brandon Thurston. Yeah. Always. All his stuff. Right, you know, this yeah, is Jason yeah, Powell. Always... This is whoever it is, right? Yeah, right. Um, yeah, we always credit everybody. who, who we can... okay, let... All right, so, so we broke the record this week. Some... Joe, I think this is the first week of our patron emails. No suspensions. You are correct. Wow. That's correct. Okay, well, here we go. To, now we're going to the regular. There was really no dumb questions. Right. Next is from JG, and the subject is AEW Reset. Greetings all. Going to get right to it. If you were able to hit the reset button AEW, 
You can control the booking and everything. How would you book it long term? Thanks, and that's JG from Jersey. I mean, what do you book it long term? I but I get back to the, to the angles of all the stars wrestling against each other. You know, go go at MGF against the, the you know the top of Ward. First well, of all, we here's, here's what we were saying in Disco when CM Punk came in, Lee Moriarty, so, you know, and all the other guys that you're like. Why is he wrestling him and not the top guys? And that continues to be a trend there. This is what I would do, okay? Me specifically, all right? I would sacrifice a couple of big names, your top, top-ish guys, for Wardlow, all right? In the meantime, I would have MJF win the belt. And I would go back, all the way back to the mistake that they made a couple of years ago. They never picked it up. Bro, Wardlow squashed MJF in, in their match, right, that they had. It was a squash. He just beat the out of the guy, didn't him, right? And he, when after MGF won the belt, if you're booking logically, okay, who's got the, who should be the number one contender? The guy that beat out of him and squashed him. Right. I would go all the way back to the mistake they made of not making that the first angle. I'd go Wardlow and MGF for, for MGF's belt. I would start there because I think that's where they, they were building up Wardlow and building him up, and he got the, he beat MGF and just went boop. And just we been okay. completely relevant let me, ever since. Let me, that, that's let me, where I would start. Okay. okay. What, what about you? Let me peel back up before you continue, because I'm sure you have more. Um, let me peel back a little layer of onion. So when I see that something like that happens, in my mind, what I'm thinking is because they used to be boys, MJF and Wardlow, and for all I know, they could still be boys, right? Mm-hmm. But something must have happened between him and MJF. Or Wardlow and Tony, where Tony says, I'm not going to push this guy anymore. Or where MJF says, I'm not going to co-sign this guy anymore. I don't know if he sent feelers at WWE and they found out. I don't know if he said something stupid. I don't know if he did something stupid. But that's the type of petty that happens over there. Because this guy's been buried. Totally buried. You know, at least when they buried Strawman, they brought him back strong because they understood this guy's money. Obviously, they, they don't see the same thing in. Wardlow, but what else would you do? Right. Um, and then that I'm not, I don't want to delve into anymore. I, I would just do. I, I'm okay. going to talk about my long term booking process. I would just say I would go back, and that's the point that I would start at. Get, for Wardlow fighting for the belt to get MJF because that's if if your if your booking was logical up to that point, for those guys where you wanted them to be, I would I would try to get them right back to that point. That, okay. That's what I would. Do. So, um. So, basically, um, this guy must be new because we've talked about what the changes we would do ad nauseum. What would he have to do? Put hashtag what to find out that about AEW? A- just a if you search for AEW on the Patreon or even on the YouTube, you'll find a million things about that. Let me just yeah, okay. Cause let me just say this: two weeks ago, to me, they had a good show, but they need cold opens. They need threads throughout the show. They need video packages explaining feuds and new people that come in, especially all the Japanese and Mexicans that nobody knows who they are. They need production meetings. And they have to have somebody helping Tony write Dynamite and have others write the other shows. Because as I said before, it's too much me, me, me. I do everything. Bro, one time he actually told me this and I was like, what? He said, oh, I'm I'm booking the Jericho Cruise. And I'm thinking to myself, big deal dude that, that's that's important to you all right yeah. yeah yo what's up i just want to thank you guys for watching this clip don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and join our youtube membership for hours and hours of exclusive unedited uncensored content and being a member will help you get involved in our upcoming live streams uh thank you for your support thank you for riding with us i know you got a lot of other uh, podcast choices, be it wrestling or other ones. And thank you for picking us. Boom.